All right, these are some homemade glasses I've made. And uh, they're just like safety type glasses, basically anti-scratch kind of deal going on here. I don't like plastic ones, they scratch very easy. And uh, these are awesome because they look cool. It's got a vintage old, old school kind of look to it, you know. And uh, they're made with uh, lens uh, protectors for uh, a camera. UV protector and uh, these are actually 62 millimeter and these are a uh, 58 millimeters and you can see um, and they, they come with different kinds of filter uh, color they got tinted kinds you know that are darker and they got the green color yellow color uh, you know just different kinds of colors that you can put on these this is my first set I've made right here and this is my second set. You could tell that it's all one piece. I don't have them in separate parts like this one with the pop rivets in there. This is all one right here. And this is my next one right here made out of brass. I like this look too. It's it's uh, got that brass look to it, you know, and shiny brass. And little initials right there, and punched them in there. And yep, these are cool. That's what they look like when they're on me. Pretty big, but uh, they look cool. I like the way they look. And uh, I can do my work on the lathe right there and have this uh, original type glasses on here. And I don't have to where the store-bought ones anymore and if you guys are thinking well what about if the glass breaks you know uh, what if that's gonna hit you in the eye you know it's gonna cut you you know well that's why I'm gonna put this uh, like a polycarbonate thin sheet about this diameter inside right here so that'll uh, protect my eyes you know from from the uh, shattered glass if you know but likely that would ever happen you know if I'm grinding something and let's say if uh, a piece of metal big chunk comes off I mean there's a possibility yes it's gonna uh, crack the glass you know and, and you know there's always possibilities for everything but it's unlikely you know in in, in this uh, area right here I'm not doing really heavy-duty stuff if I'm gonna do something that heavy-duty I'm gonna wear my full face full face type uh, protective glass uh, shield over my face you know but these are just like everyday machining kind of work on a lathe you know or if I want to do some mill work over there you know just light duty stuff well yeah and it's got a cool look to it vintage pilot style look to it you know and these are the aluminum ones same deal all one you don't have to adjust nothing it just fits to my head I can adjust it by bending these to my head profile. You can see the way it goes around my, my head to my ear. This fits perfect. Pretty solid. And as you can see these are my original ones right here. They're a little loose. got that glass inside right here it's a little loose it's not it's not nothing bad I just have to tighten it in here to where it doesn't rattle back and forth but that doesn't bother me but other than that these are what they are and uh, they're completely original I haven't seen anything online like these so yep just thought I'd like to share this out to everybody, you know, just something different, you know, nothing huge that I'm doing here, but I uh, thought it was uh, interesting to post this out there, you know, for people to see, you know, if they want to make some, they can make some, you know, it's nothing, nothing hard to do this, you know, you just draw out a stencil pattern, and uh, to whatever dimension that, dimensions that these uh, UV filters are, I can loosen one. Here we go. This is a 58 millimeter. 
But if you look, you'll see the thread pattern right here. I take my caliper and I just measure from from the edge right there, the thread pattern to the other edge. So, yeah, and that'll give you your dimensions for your hole pattern. So I, you can make a use a hole saw blade, or however you you could make a stencil for using a plasma cutter or whatnot. I haven't got it on there. Come on, there we go. Those are pretty solid on there. But yeah, there you go. Hope you enjoyed watching this.